Header menu options. If you need to change the header menu layout, doing so is very easy. There's a lot of different formats. We'll go through a few of those. All the colors that you see are all completely editable within the theme options under the header menu options tab. So as you can see now, we're starting off with a standard development uh, demo, which has the nav on the right side. We've got the logo on the left. Let's say we wanted to move the logo over to the right side and the nav over to the left. We would come in here, select basic menu, logo right, menu left, click save. And as you see, instantly it changes and it's totally responsive. So let's say that that doesn't quite work to what we want. We want to keep that logo over on the left, but we want it to be a basic button menu. Now, as you can see, there are buttons here, and there's also a, a, a box behind here. And now let's say we don't want to see that box. We just want the buttons. We'll scroll down a little ways here in the theme options. As you can see, there's a lot. We'll get into a few of them. And we want to hide the menu header menu box. We do that and you can see it's there now. And by checking that box, it disappears. Again, all colors, all formatting, all styles that you see are easily changeable here in the theme options. Let's say we wanted to put the menu to be full width underneath a left aligned logo. Now, with this, we're able to change all of these menu options, including, as you can see here, user-defined header via short codes. If we wanted to do this, we select that option, and then we would also need to come into the header options, and this is where we would be able to, just like you use in a page editor, we would be able to use the short codes to create exactly what we wanted to see uh, in the header. The header menu options, all of these combinations combined create thousands of different ways to kind of set up the layout of the site. Remember before, the demo site looks like this. If we wanted to change this size here, we can make it larger. Uh, basic menu size, we can click on large. Now, this could come in handy for some situations. Now we've got a larger uh, area here. We can see those buttons. Header menu options includes all of this. We can also go through and set the pre-header settings that we're using the same settings that we're using the pre-header settings for those menu options. Uh, display options, which include squared corners, dividers between items, uh, add starting dividers and ending dividers, depending on, and this is for the full width menu that we showed you just a second ago. <coughs> we have the plain text menu options, which is nice because we can set this up where we have basically a pill behind that. So let's change this so we can see what that looks like for plain text. <coughs> Excuse me. And you can see there is a pill behind these, which also will act on a hover state and an active state. So as we move through, uh, a lot of different options. A lot of these I'm not going to go into because they're very specific but it kind of gives you an idea of how specific you can get with altering and changing that header and the header menu options. A lot of color options, like I mentioned, and I'm going through a lot of the colors, styles. So one of the things here, when you want to do a full width menu option, you can separate each item by any one of the over 200 uh, font awesome icons. So if you wanted to put in a specific type of an icon, maybe an, a minus, uh, sign you can put that between each uh, We're not going to do that for the demo here, but you can imagine that layout here at the bottom every Spot in between we can use one of those font awesome icons, which is kind of opens up a lot more possibilities uh, Changing the font face and the font style and of course all the text and link colors And then the final thing is the active and hover states um, for particular nav items which includes everything in addition to just uh, more than the header options, but also the pre-header, the pre-footer, and the footer. So as you can see, there's a lot of variables to the header menu layout. It's simple to use. It's fun. You can be able to change and alter uh, a web build with ease almost immediately.